So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be basically a unwrapping, unboxing, demo review. I just got in my Lady Moss Beauty Spinning Tower and I got the one in white. And I seen like a couple reviews about it, but you just see like so many lipstick holders and all that going around. So I thought I would do like an unboxing and then just share like my experience and my thoughts and if basically if this is a yay or nay like if you should get it if it's worth it because of the pricing but i'm gonna go through all of that with you guys and yeah we're just gonna sit here and talk about this lipstick tower and then also um i'm just gonna go over like the basics and everything with you guys and give you my thoughts i know when i was like searching like i didn't know what i wanted and I just didn't know the money I wanted to spend. I didn't know if it was worth it. I didn't, there was just like so many questions I had, but this has been a long time waiting. I've like done my research, have like stuff already that I have my stuff in. And I was just looking at a bunch of things, basically organizing and all that stuff. So this would have been helpful for me if I would have like, um, searched it beforehand but since i had to do all of it on my own i'm just going to share the experience and then show you what it comes in and how everything is going to work this might be all over the place because i've never done something like this before but i just want to give you guys an idea and like i said let you know if this is worth it or not and also too this is kind of like going to be going into my makeup collection because Probably in a couple weeks or so, I'm going to be posting up my makeup collection and my organization and all of that. So this is basically going to lead into that. This is just like the starting point and letting you guys know how I organize and what is easy and convenient. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so it came in a box, which I'm going to show you guys. I'll enter a clip in or whatever. And then I took it out of the box. It was bubble wrapped. So it was bubble wrapped and then it comes in another box, which is this. And it says fragile. It says fragile on that other box as well. Hopefully you guys can hear me and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to take it out. And okay, so once the bubble wrap is off, it comes in a box just like this. Okay, and then basically, let me put my camera down a little bit. Um, it comes in a box and it is in the plastic things come in and break so this is packaged really really nicely um then it's on a spinning wheel so this is it right here and then it has the lady moss um symbol emblem on top which is cute you won't really be able to see that so that's cool this is really really sturdy i've seen this is from ladymossbeauty.com i'm gonna link it down below so you guys if you guys want to pick it up it's actually really sturdy i from what i've seen on instagram from the zara beauty because i know these are the two companies that have it zara beauty and ladymossbeauty.com the zara beauty one seemed a little bit cheap to me just like from pictures that i've seen i i don't know in person but just from what i've seen and this one just seemed more sturdy i was choosing between this white one and the clear one just because I have a lot of clear things I wanted everything to match but this one just seemed more just more sturdy and it looked like it was worth the price the other one looked a little bit more cheaper but nonetheless this is what it looks like it spins um yeah so I will be going into and we will fill it up together here it just has some round ones and you probably won't be able to fit your square lip sticks in this part and then these ones seem like they're a little bit smaller so i don't think some lip sticks probably like lip glosses so that's probably like the only complaint one thing i wanted to mention to you guys was organization and all of that i will jump into that because i have a lot of lip sticks and i was going to like pick up one of those like just the flat ones so this is the previous one i have from ladymoss.com and it's a 24 holder one and i was going to get the bigger one of this but as you can see how much space it takes up so basically if you put this on your counter it's going to take up this much space this holds 24 lip sips. this holds like 118 i believe i will link it down below but i know it's like 118 or 116 because i got the one that carried the most and as you can see if you put this on your dresser it's going to take up this amount and you're going to basically you're going to 
place 118 lip sticks in the same area that you can place this and I was gonna get the 72 holder one which I was waiting for and I was so anxious and I wanted so so bad but I waited because I wanted to like like I said do my research and just get what was best for me and the price and everything so I waited and I researched and I researched um, which is something that you should do but like I said, if you see a video like this, this might be helpful. So like I said, this only carries 24 lip steps and it will take up the same amount, amount of space that this would. So just to give you guys an idea. Online right now, the 72 holder round lip stip holder is 50 bucks, which is a fair price. This one right here is 24 bucks. So there is a big difference. This right here, cost me $99 and that's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys is about the price anybody can purchase these you can go on Amazon and find a lot of lipstick holders but sometimes the acrylic and everything is not that like sturdy and stuff like that and every single time that I purchased off ladymoss.com I've gotten everything like really really sturdy everything is really really like legit it's not cheap or anything like that so that's why I kind of invested my money into this and then another thing is this isn't going to be for everybody like there are going to be girls that want like the cheaper ones that you can get but even those like if you get like the 10 holder one those are like $14.99 so if you add that up 10 20 30 40 and then you add the price up like 12 12 12 12 it's going to come out to the same thing so you might as well invest your money into something that's going to last a long time and it's going to hold all your lips up now if you're a makeup collector or makeup lover or you're just into makeup or your makeup artist then this is going to be really convenient for you because it is basically going to place all your lip steps in here you're going to be able to see everything you have um, whereas in this type of lip stip holder you can't really see what you have um, everything's face down I mean you can face them up but just right here it's just like you can see you can place your lip steps in here that was like one thing that I wanted because right now my lip steps are in a container so I don't really use them and I wanted something that was gonna let me use my items and see them and then Think about, okay, there's my lip stick, then I can use it. You can just reach for it. It's right there. It's organized. It spins. You can go around and, yeah, it's just going to help you get use out of all your makeup. Definitely worth the money. I mean, I would like it if it was $50, and I think that it's, like, worth $50 because it's just, like, a, a clear acrylic thing. But, of course, these companies are going to charge what they think is worth it. I'm willing to pay $100 just because it's going I'm gonna get great use of, out of it it's gonna last a long time and yes especially you need to take care of your things like I said this one is super sturdy like I've seen somebody do a review on the Zara Beauty one and it didn't look as sturdy as this one I'm going to hold lip glosses Oops, I wasn't even sticking it in the hole so lip glosses round lip steps. the only thing it's going to hold everything on these side ones. On the top ones, you're a little bit limited, which I'm not complaining about. But if you want to place your top ones on there, you can place your top ones on there like this. Um, like I said, a regular lip stip. Let me see if a MAC lip stip will fit in there. So a MAC lip stip doesn't fit in that one. But you can easily place a lip gloss. So I will probably place my Sephora lip stains or my NARS lip glosses in the other lip organizer for like 15 bucks or actually $20 I will show you that one as well just so you guys get an idea really like in there and they're like at the tip so yeah see as they like fall over it's just it's just like messy so yeah and then it gets really dusty so this is another one but like I said it's limited on space and what you can fit in there fits higher end lip steps and lower end lip steps as well it fits like basically everything so like I said, you're investing your money, but it's going to fit everything. Whereas if you purchase one of those smaller ones, it's not going to fit everything. And then we're going to be filling this bad boy up together. So you guys get a real idea of what it looks like. And then... Also, another thing about this. This is from LadyMossBeauty.com. Um, like I said, they have them on Zara Beauty. I will link both down below so you guys can compare. Um, I know they might have some promo codes. I didn't have a promo code on this. I paid with my own money. 
but yeah we'll definitely link them down below they have pink they have black they have clear they have light pink they have some with like gems on them and all of that stuff i wanted something basic because I feel like your makeup kind of dresses up your table and I wanted something plain just so that my lips lipsticks can stand out it's just more organized and more practical in my view like I said I've showed you guys other things and yeah that's basically everything I wanted to go over with you guys um, so let's just fill this up I'm going to sit this on my table and then we will go ahead and fill it up together <laughs> have it filled up so far as you can see everything is visible you can see everything so yeah basically in the end if this is a yay or nay for me it's definitely a yay especially like i said if you're a makeup artist or you just have like a big makeup collection this is going to be well worth it in the end because you are going to pay what 99 bucks hopefully you get a promo code if you want wait for a promo code because that always helps um, but it's just going to be worth it in the end. You're going to be able to fill up all, all your lipstick holders instead of having like 20 gazillion of these everywhere that take up like way more space. And like I said, these are about 20 bucks. This one's $24.99. I believe this one was around $20. That's already $40 and it is probably 24 and 24 lipsticks. So 50 lipsticks. So that's about $50. So it's still going to add up to this. And this is well worth it and well worth the investment like I said. I hope I went over everything with you guys. If you guys have anything specific or any like questions or anything I forgot because I've never really ever done a review and demo, link link it. Um, leave your questions down below. I will try to answer them if I didn't answer anything specific. But main mainly what I wanted to go over was the price and is it worth it? Um, what it carries? It's gonna carry everything: square lipsticks, high end lipsticks, low end lipsticks. Um, is it sturdy? Yes, I believe this one's way more sturdy than the Zara Beauty one, and they are the same price. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to go over. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and stay tuned because I am going to be doing my makeup collection and my organization. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. So like I said, if you guys do decide to get this, just make sure you do your research. Like I said, for me... I would say like literally it took me over two months to decide on what I wanted and what I was going to get and within that time I was literally doing my research. I know I guess it took me so long just because it cost so much and I didn't know if it was worth it or not because that's a lot of money to me especially for like an organization thing that's going to sit in your makeup area but like I said I think it's well worth it like I said these things I probably said like a million times if you do your research and you add up things to what you're going to spend in the end, it's going to come out the same way. You're going to end up spending the money anyways. So this was a great investment for me because I didn't have to spend like $24 here, $24 there, $24 again, and then end up paying the same amount for something that's going to be way more organized, um, take up less space, fill more lip dips that I need to be put away and all of that 